What up? I'm Ben Freeman from Freemanpedia.com, and this is SAQ's Day. This is where I take some of the released SAQs from previous AP World History Modern exams and break them down with you with a few tips and tricks along the way. Remember 2019? Seems like it was 5,000 years ago. Anyway, today's SAQ is from the 2019 exam. It was the first SAQ on the exam, which means it's mandatory. Rule number one, focus the lens. Remember, right on the exam. You paid good money for this exam, right on the exam. So we got two identifies and an explain. Nice. For A, one cultural exchange. So this essay is all about uh, nomads and non-nomads, specifically nomads, people who are wandering around following animals, that kind of stuff, and sedentary societies, people that are, you know, staying around farming, that kind of stuff. Okay, so what's one cultural exchange between nomads and non-nomads that occurred before 1450? So one cultural exchange. I'm looking for a cultural exchange. That's what I need, a cultural exchange. A wants me to identify a cultural exchange. B, one development that changed nomads' roles. So one development that changed the role Central Asian nomads played in the cross-regional exchanges as described in the passage, which we'll get to in a second. So I need something that changed their role. They were one way, now they're another way. That's what I'm looking for. So I need an example of an exchange. I need a way that the role of the nomads changed. And then for letter C, and this one has some pre-underlining, look at that. It's a pretty fancy college board. They went right in there and went whoop, right underneath for you so you don't have to do it. Explain one cross-cultural exchange that would challenge an assertion in the last sentence of the passage. Oh, I love this one. They're like, what about this paragraph or this passage? That's what you should be focusing on when you read. Like, make sure, even if the other sentences are kind of, that last one, you're going to need it. So focus on that one. Okay, not great, not terrible, but I like when they're specific. Sometimes they're like, name a political change that happened on Earth. Like, okay, that's, that's not helpful. But if they're like, this specific thing and this passage is gonna help you, that's history, right? That's using primary and secondary sources to like come to conclusions to help you understand. That's the whole thing. That's the whole deal. That's what we're all here for. And here, for all three, they're pushing you in three specific directions. All right, now we can check the stimulus. Since it's the first one, it's got a secondary source. That means this guy wasn't around uh, back then, specifically because he wrote this in 2001. So that's not super helpful that it's a secondary source, so who really cares? But okay, so you can see the stimulus here. You can pause and read it yourself. Okay, so if you didn't read it, he's basically saying Central Asian nomads have helped spread culture around. He's focusing specifically on culture here. And we know, because we focused our lens earlier, that letter C was obsessed with the last sentence. So nomads are spreading culture around, and the last sentence says this. But as we have seen, pastoral nomads were the chief initiators, so the main initiators, main promoters, chief agents of this exchange between East and West. All right, so we focused our lens on the prompt and we checked out the stimulus. Let's do the damn thing. For letter A, right off the bat, culture. Culture is a massive term. It can really include almost anything. Think of it as the culmination of all the institutions in society and what they produce. I know that's vague, but when you see culture, the word culture, be happy. You can kind of argue that most things fit under culture. So one cultural exchange, just identify one. You could have named any technology or religious exchange here. So gunpowder is cool, Islam is cool, Buddhism is cool, all that stuff. Letter B, now we're getting something specific. Something that changed the role Central Asian nomads played in these exchanges. So check this timeline. They're asking you 1450 to 1750. Dates don't matter, but chronology matters and periodization matters. 1450 to 1750, you kinda know what's going on. That's, uh, for those of you playing along in AP World History, that's, that's uh, unit three and unit four. So if you've got that, all right, so 1450 to 1750, what's going on in those units? And the biggest change in this period is the transoceanic reconnaissance of the Europeans. So Columbus, Columbusing around and friends, right? So the Central Asian trade routes and the nomads that are there really aren't the only game in town anymore. And the maritime trade routes are gonna end up taking over the Silk Road's importance. So that changed the role of Central Asian nomads in spreading culture. Plus Central Asian nomads themselves are falling under the rule of larger and larger empires. Two of the biggest empires in the history of the planet show up in unit three. I'm talking about Russia. I'm talking about the Manchu Qing dynasty in China. So the days of the big, scary Mongol types that are out there and they're gonna come, you're really under the rule of one of these empires. Letter C, let's look back at that last sentence one more time. Pastoral nomads were the chief initiators, promoters, and agents of this exchange between East and West. So it's the pastoral nomads who were doing all of this. So explain a cross-cultural exchange that challenges this. Basically, what is something that the pastoral nomads weren't the primary agents of change for, weren't the main ones doing? And you could have done a bunch of different ones. You could have talked about the missionaries of Buddhism, or Christianity, or even the merchants of Islamic 
Christianity that helped spread those religions around. Or if you've seen my paper making video, this was something that spread from China without the nomadic peoples being the chief agents of change. Paper is just not on the nomads radar. All right, that was the 2019 Nomads SAQ. Next up, we head to China. We always seemingly head to China to check out some continuities. But for that, you'll have to wait until the next SAQ's day.